I mean, that, that sub 3%, what would that do for you and your perspective on the rest of the year? Because they'll all start to cry about 50 basis point cuts. Once we get a reasonable level below 3%, you can just hear them, you know, sort of almost like in the football stands, crying for 50 basis point cuts at a time. But how would you look at a sub 3% point? Well, I think mostly that sub 3% print is priced into market expectations. And particularly when you look at what's priced into the short rate market in 2024, uh, that six to seven cuts that are already priced in are reflective of an expectation of a significant moderation in inflation. The real question from the Fed's perspective is whether or not just getting inflation back down uh, to close to their mandate is enough to start to create a substantial cutting cycle, particularly when we have a situation where growth is pretty good and asset prices are making new highs, plus there's the concern about break-even inflation and long-dated break-even inflations starting to rise back up here as asset prices improve. And so I think part of the, the, site, the insight that you can get is from the SCP, which isn't just saying that they're going to cut three times, but it's it's reflective or, or it, it it is consistent also with a period of time where unemployment rises to 4.1%. So the idea that the Fed's going to immediately start cutting if unemployment stays here in the threes, growth is pretty good, and PCE just moves to mandate, it's not obvious that they're going to get the sort of cuts that are currently priced into the short rate market for 24.